Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and this is our third video of the Vue.js. In this video, we will check out the file and folder structure of the Vue.js. And in the previous video, we installed the Vue.js with the help of Vue CLI. And if you want to watch this video, link is given in the description box. Now, now let's start with the folder and file structure. So let's start with the readme.md file. So if you just remove this file, then it will not going to impact your project or impact your uh, Vue.js folder structure because this file is basically used to uh, some provide some detail uh, and some guidelines of your project, right? So if you just follow some specific guidelines or uh, some specific folder and code structure, then we just mention here, right? Otherwise you can delete it. This is not a major thing. So after that package.json will completely take your detail of your project like project name, project version, script, dependencies, dev dependencies and some other things. All right. So if we just install any npm package, we will get these details here also. So now let's uh, look out the package.log.json. So basically you can say that this is a detailed version of the package.json. So here you will find the all packages that you installed all the dependencies of your package and package of package. So it will completely take the tree structure of your node module and packages. All right. So if you just delete it, your project will automatically generate it again when you just run the npm install command. So now let's look out the babel.config.js file. So basically this is uh, babel is basically used for convert your ECMAScript code into the normal JS code. If you are a browser or uh, you can say that uh, your editor or uh, uh, your build cannot understand it. All right. So basically this is used for conversing, conversion, the high level code to the understandable level code to the JavaScript. All right. So if we um, use the Babel in the react, then we will use the react preset. And here we are in the view. That's why we are using the view CLI presets. So now, and uh, this is not a uh, major part of your uh, project when you have an intermediate or the beginner level of the project, all right? So you are not going to interact much more with this file, all right? So now let's uh, move on the next file, dot git ignore file. So basically this is also not related to the view, this is related to the git project. And uh, here we will define what, um, module or file or folder we want to not going to we don't want to upload on the git server all right so this is also not related to the um, you can see that the view before going to the src and the public folder first of all let's look of the uh, node modules here the all packages are installed in our project so if we are just going to install some package for like let's say for the pagination or uh, for file conversion or or as you can see that the for bootstrap the everything will be installed here all right so these are the two key major points of your Vue.js. all right so the other folders are very common in the every library or uh, framework with the uh, front end development but these two are the very different all right so let's look out the public in the public you will find the two files index.html file all right this file is the entry point of your HTML in your project, all right? Please keep in mind HTML entry point, not the JS entry point, all right? So uh, after this, after this, we will see the uh, SRC folder, but uh, this div is very important because uh, this ID is directly attached with your JavaScript file. I will show you how. So let's open the uh, src folder and let's open the main.js file main.js file is the entry point of javascript in your project all right so every view.js file will be just go through with this main.js file and here you will find the hash app and this id will uh, inject your complete js with the html here all right so if you just change this id then uh, your project not going to work and if you change the ID here, then you must have to define your ID here also. All right. And in this file, your all view files are be important. So like our uh, app.js, there is a only one main file and this is attached and imported here. All right. After that, uh, let's jump on the components. In this uh, folder, we will uh, put the all components 
of your uh, project so basically as you know the Vue.js is make th make everything as a component and uh, we will understand the components in the next video in the more detail but for now you can see th understand that this is a very uh, a precise example of uh, uh, you can say that the component and this is imported in the app.js here so here you can see that this is imported and uh, we have to define this is a component and this is working here all right after the component one more folder which is used for putting the css and the um, you can say that the html no no not not html uh, for the images images and the css all right here you can put your complete all public files like css and the images even fonts and uh, etc also all right so uh, when we just uh, working with the project so most of the time we are interacting with the components folder and uh, this is the you can say that the 80 percent area we will uh, working here and in the src folder this is around the 97 percent and the other files will be just work on around three percent all right so thanks for watching this video in the next video we will understand about the components how they work how we can make a new component and uh, see the new component on the screen also all right so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care